everybody, it's Trish here. Today is Friday, and this is another version of Friday Sews. Thank you to Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room, one of my besties, who um, came up with this hashtag so that we could all talk about what we're sewing. Last time I saw you, I claimed that I was gonna make this. And um, it didn't happen. The reason it didn't happen, let me just turn this around and show you. This is my sewing room that I'm in, and my grandson is visiting, and he has got a command center set up for playing Fortnite and other stuff that I probably don't approve of, <laughs> honestly. But anyways, he's 15, and his parents make that decision, so who am I to change it? But anyway, that's beside the point. My whole room has been set up like a computer command center around here, and um, so I, all I have to show you today is just the patterns that I picked up at the Hobby Lobby sale. Now, when Carol was in town and Jen, um, we went to Hobby Lobby in Orlando and I picked up at regular price, I had picked up this one. This is New Look 6453 and it's just a cute little top and it has, there's several versions of it. If you wanna do like the handkerchief hem, but it does have really nice seaming in the front, as you can see, and I like that princess seaming on it. So, um, there's the line drawings. So, I like that pattern, and at the time, patterns were not on sale. So, um, then I found out this past week that patterns were going to be 99 cents. New look. New look patterns are going to be 99 cents at Hobby Lobby because they're, I guess, phasing them out. So, I bought six patterns. Think one, two, three, four, five patterns. And I just wanted to show you those because I don't have any sewing to show you. But I did pick up for 99 cents new look 68.89, and it was crumpled up. All of the patterns that I bought were in two giant shopping carts just thrown in there. So it was literally, as I told Jen, it was like digging like a savage to get through those and find the patterns that were in them. But I got this one. I really like this version. It's very much like another shift dress that I have, but it's a little bit different in the neckline and the pockets, so I thought I would try that one. New Look 68.89. The next one I got was New Look 67.35, and I like that it's an easy pattern, and I really wanna make these pants and that shirt that she's wearing. I like that shirt. I would like to have just a stretchy version, just like that. And then these pants just look like they fit well. And I don't know about, I don't know about those bell bottoms. I love the way they look, the wide leg, but I'm short, so I may have to bring those in just a little bit. They may just be a teeny bit too wide for my stature. The next one I got is New Look 6719. And I thought that was a really cute kind of baby doll looking shirt, but I would make this version. I don't think I would go for this with all this pin tucking and everything. And I don't know that this would even be flattering on my body shape, but um, it's got a simple kind of peplum ruffle in the back. And I just like that for a summer shirt. So we'll see. I also could picture it if I like the way it's shaped in the yoke. I could picture it as a dress or even made into a nightgown. So we'll see, I like that one. The next one was New Look 6594 and I've been looking at this pattern. I've been looking at this pattern for years. I always like it because it reminds me of a dress that I made when my grandmother taught me to sew way back in the 70s. We made a dress very similar to this for me. And um, I loved that dress. And of course my body is shaped completely different now, so I don't know how this will look, but I thought, you know, I'm just gonna give it a try because it just brings back great memories of sewing with my grandmother. And the last one I got is New Look 6458. And I like these pants a lot. They, um, they're more of a straight leg and really cute and just looks like a really simple t-shirt pattern to go with them. I might like the dress. It looks like it's got a split down the side. I'm not a skirt person, so very rarely will I wear a skirt, but all of these look really simple. So those are my 
only sewing activity since I spoke with you last week. So the only other thing I've been doing is something that is on the creative front, but um, it's not sewing. And um, reluctantly, I'm going to share with you what I've been doing. And I hope that there's no judgment or just don't laugh at me, okay? Because I painted something. I wanted to enjoy the day today. So I took all my painting gear and I went out to the front yard and I sat out there and I just painted the tree and the bench that were right in front of me in the yard. And um, I did that until my back was hurting so bad that I had to stop. So this painting is not finished. It's got some touch up to be done, but um, I painted this bench because I have an uncle who was very dear to me and he gave my husband a bunch of wood. He was a woodworker and he gave my husband a bunch of pieces of wood um, that we turned into a bench and we engraved his name on it in the years of his life. And I just thought, it's such a beautiful day. I'm just going to sit out there and I'm just going to paint that tree and that bench just for fun. So I did it. Like I said, I'm a little nervous about showing it to people because I've probably only painted, you know, like five or six things in my whole life. But I'm going to give you a quick look at it. So hold on. There it is in the window. It's just a bench next to a tree with a couple of little flowers around it. Not that exciting to anyone else, but you know, it's cathartic to sit out there and paint in the yard with the sun and the breeze blowing. And that's why I did it. Definitely not for the quality of my artwork, but just for the fun of it and for the cathartic feeling that you get from doing that. And um, that's just another way to relax and Heaven knows I'm becoming an expert on relaxation. So that is really all else that I have done. Um, when my grandson leaves, I think he leaves on Sunday. When he's gone from here, um, I will get my sewing room back. And I am going to sew up that dress that I said I was going to sew up. So um, until then, I hope everyone has a great weekend. I hope you get a lot of sewing done. And I hope your weather is as gorgeous as ours is here in Florida right now. Take advantage of it because summer is coming and it's going to be ugly. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.